Hello my friends, today it will be completely new topic for me. We will try to do some kind of um, shelf or I, I should maybe say um, storage space for mining computer. Hmm. Okay, I will start uh, on the floor like you see. Um, I'll do some rough cuts. Uh, it's a uh, beach boards about 25 or maybe 28 millimeters. Two cuts and I can jump on the huge table table saw just for two cuts on the on the edges and like you see the burn marks yes I know I'm pretty lazy <laughs> today uh, I should change the the blade uh, this blade is not exactly uh, right for uh, cuts like this it's quite huge it's about uh, uh, 400 millimeters with too many toots okay and this part yes I will use it later you know it's winter so every single piece of wood uh, will uh, <laughs> will be quite helpful to keep it uh, to keep uh, to keep it warm this place and about uh, this cut about about uh, 70 millimeters it should be enough for two pieces for uh, by sorry uh, because I will need um, the final piece should be 20 by 30 sorry 20 by yeah 20 by 30 millimeters so that's why um, like you see now uh, it's about 70 by 25 should be enough okay so and now I can start work on planar from one side on and second side and then it's time for thicknesser uh, 66 millimeters yes it should be enough and I will have six millimeters left for four millimeter curve on the on the sole you will see later but it's enough to, to cut it through and get two pieces. Okay, and on the next side, yes, 20, 23 millimeters should be enough to get exact 20. Yes, and like you see, the speed is. 20 millimeters, uh, sorry, 20 meters by 20, 20 meters by minute. Yes, and like you see now, I'm cutting through the, the pieces, slabs, to get uh, to get a dimension about uh, 31. And if I put it to the thicknesser, I will get exact 30. So <laughs> it's easy if you have two, mach two machines uh, very close. Uh, um, so it's quite fast type of um, type of work. And voila. 20 by 30 and the last cut is of course uh, cross cut on, on the 
exact dimension and for this cut this this type uh, sorry this type of cuts this blade is a killer no matter what uh, what uh, hard type of wood you put it's uh, amazing stuff and next machine is of course Pantaruter. I was thinking about uh, about this connection. What I what I should to use? Of course, I don't want to see any screws outside. So I decided to to use Panther router. I will do uh, tenon and mortise here, and the the pins will be through the material, and I will um, leave about uh, five millimeters uh, extra just to get some new uh, good looking uh, pin outside the board do you see the flying chips no yes it because the dust extractor and uh, the dust collect co collector is really good uh, it's really accurate and um, the chips is flying straight to the um, the hole inside the bit I'm using here is uh, made specially for Panther router is quite long of course it's spiral but uh, it's really really long or I, or, sh or I should maybe extended version Okay, so now it's time to prepare small wedges. So it's my hmm, it's my way to to um, to make it. Uh, you need to do some kind of template to push right board. Um, so you need to draw on the waste material little triangle cut it through or cut it out and then you need parallel fence and like you see you can make hundreds of uh, wedges very fast time very short time and all will be exactly the same then I decided to add some jumper on the on the end of uh, this pin just to you know add some extra extra good look and like you see I'm using very small small photo and next step I need to cut uh, the, the pin on the two sides and then, of course, we need a lot of glue. No, I'm joking. Of course, you 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 don't need a lot of glue. Just a little bit, but of course, the the squeezing glue. Hmm. You just need to be patient here because and accurate because if you put one wedge too far, it will be much. Mm, much bigger, much thicker than than the second one, and then yes, this um, this part of uh, work I don't like it <laughs> because it's always stress a bit. You need to be a hurry because now in workshop is quite uh, warm, uh, so the glue is drying uh, quite fast, and of course you don't hmm. you you need to put some glue of course but if you put too much like I now like you see <laughs> so the glue will uh, hmm, stick to the to the wood and of course you need to remove it and etc etc so hmm, I don't like gluing uh, process 
and now I will back for a couple sec on the table saw because uh, I need to cut out some kind of hmm, countertop uh, for the lower level of this uh, case and I need to cut out on four corners space for the legs so I'm using scroll saw and some tricky and quite strong uh, this magnets uh, with the yellow top one, two, three, four, and it's ready. And the last one, and we can jump to to test it. I add uh, about one millimeter extra, so it's it fits good with uh, with small uh, with small loose. Should be enough. And now, hmm, like I said, the the worst part of work, you need to clean up this uh, the um, these pins. How to clean up? Uh, how to clean up? Hmm. I'm using rasp. I'm using chisels. I'm using uh, sanding blocks. All tools uh, which you have. Uh, close to your hands and the uh, edges on the, the plywood I'm using the sanding blocks it's easiest way and just to remove the you know the, the, the sharp edge it's enough and then I'm using uh, very how to say it uh, it's a sander, but the, the moving of the sand paper is uh, very, very short, about 1.2 millimeter, I think. So it's really accurate for uh, last, um, last sanding. And then I can use my one of the favorite uh, Japanese plane. Uh, it's uh, special for chamber. Couple moves and it is for sure much faster way than uh, prepare the rotor and uh, bits, etc. So for sure I'm uh, I prefer the hand planes for for this type of work. And again, sanding all edges uh, on the on this frame, but it needs to be done. So, couple minutes, and it's ready to go. And then we can jump to another machine. I was thinking about it. Um, it <laughs> another my uh, idea how to add some extra ornament or addition so I decided to use my CNC it's a quite uh, small and but very accurate uh, hammer H and C machine and now be prepared look at this ready, ready. go <laughs> Damn! Yes. What can I say? I've checked everything, excluding the thickness. Okay. So this time I'm using the tool to check the length of the tool, and voila, should be good. I think yes it's working good and uh, my new MFD table with some docks etc it's working really uh, really good 
And of course, the the, the beat, you know, it's not, uh, it's just burned. It's completely black, but it's uh, still sharp and it's working uh, really, really good. And I know that I should use uh, dust collector, but it's just for movie, so just to uh, to show you how it's uh, how it's working. And of course, you can <laughs> you can sit and watch how the letters uh, are made. So cool. <laughs> and now, without mistakes, whole sentence is done about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes maximum and it's, it's finished. Now I can use some oil, it's a Minvax uh, antique finish oil. I'm using it because it's uh, it's going dry quite fast, so I can use uh, I can put here uh, two layers, two coats. It should be enough. And of course, all these pins now it's looking quite good. And the last let's look on the on the letters. The parka pana arka. It means milling machine of Mr. R. <laughs> Polish language is quite funny for sure. And the coat the oil on the on the letters add much more um, contrast. The, uh, yeah it 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 will add contrast so the letters pop out it's enough. I was thinking about uh, extra color just for letters, but it's not needed. And now I need to connect legs. Um, so I was thinking about this. Of course, I don't see any screws outside. So I decided to use crack and uh, the holes it um, the holes will be vis visible only from the from the back so i can i can leave it of course i can put the the plugs here but i i don't i don't think so it's uh, it's needed so the the um, the connector on the on the bottom it will support uh, plywood too. Uh, so, like you see, there are some holes to uh, for screws, and then I can uh, can check dimension because you need to to put made board with a quite tall fan on the bottom. And now I'm working at, on top level, on top shelf, uh, on this uh, fasteners I will mount uh, graphics cards on the risers, some special extra board under the graphics card just to connect them to the, to the main board. So I will spend here a couple minutes and it's done i think what do you think about this construction looks cool i know it's made from wood so it's not uh, not safe but if i will use um, very good power supply and uh, quite thick uh, cables it should be good and safe so here here is the place for graphics graphics sorry <laughs> graphics card on the bottom will be main board and power supply and uh, SSD drive what do you think thank you 
for your attention and see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.